Hello, so welcome so that you can solve this a nice exponential maths problem within the shortest time possible. So ever wondering on how you can solve this maths problem, so worry not, we want to work it out step by step. So let's now start with the solution. So on our solution, let's now write the maths problem. So here we have 3 to the power of a, then multiplied by 3 to the power of a is supposed to give us 48. So if you know how to work out this maths problem, so you are only required to work it out, then from there you confirm with us the answers that you've got. Then from there you can still like this maths problem, subscribe if you have not. So here, in this case we have 3 to the power of a multiplied by 3 to the power of a. So since the, the, these ones are the same, they have the same base, so we shall have just to take 3 to the power of a, then multiply by 3 to the power of a, so this one can be worked out as 3 to the power of, so the multiplication now change to, to addition, so 3 to the power of a plus a, so now a plus a is 2a, so now we shall have 3 to the power of 2, 2a, so simply means that 3 to the power of 2a is supposed to give us 48, so now we shall write our equation by saying that now we have 3 to the power of 2a is equals to 48. So from here now we have a base and an index. So index in this case is 2a. So 48 is now a whole number. So how do we work out this maths problem? So in this case, let us now introduce the log from both sides so that we can work it out in the first possible way. So here we shall now have the log of 3 to the power of 2a is equals to the log of, of 48. So since we have introduced the log from both sides, this 3 to the power of 2a can also be the same as when I write the log of p to the power of m. So you can check they're the same. So when I rewrite this, I can have m the log of the log of p. Same way I can also rewrite the log of 3 to the power of 2a. So now I shall have here 2a so 2a the log of 3 is equals to the log of 48 so from there because i want to remain with 2 and 2a on this end i will divide both sides by the log of 3 so here also by the log of 3 so that the log of 3 and the log of 3 shall cancel so as you can see now basically i have remained with 2a so i shall have my 2a which now is equals to the log of 48 all over my log of the log of 3. So from here I can uh, uh, automatically simplify this maths problem by saying that 2a is equals to, so the log of 48 can also be written as the log of 3 multiplied by 16, then into bracket, then all over. Uh, in this case now I shall have the log of 3 down here. So from here now we shall now have so assume we have the log of a, a, b. That simply means that a multiplied by b. So according to the law of the expo exponents, we shall now ha have this one as the log of a plus the log of b. So meaning that we can now still write the log of 3 multiplied by 16. By now having now 2a is equals to the log of 3 plus the log of the log of 16 all over all of them divide by the log of the log of 3 so here now the best thing that you need to do very fast is now divide both sides by the log of 3 so now 2a is equals to so we shall now have each and every equation independent by dividing both sides by the log of 3 here so this one divided by the log of 3 so this side also divided by the log of the log of 3 so here now we say, we say that 2a is equals to log 3 and the log of 3 shall cancel each other. So now we shall have 1 plus the log of 16 all over the log of 3. The log of 3. So from here uh, we shall now end up something by saying that now 2a is equals to. So here now we shall have 1 plus. Uh, the log of 16 to the base of 3. So why 1 plus the log of 16 to the base of 3? So let's now have an example. Suppose here now we have the log of A all over the log of B. So when you can write this maths problem, 
we shall have something like the log of a to the base of to the base of b so it is like we've written this log a over log b into this form so that we end up with log 16 to the base of of 3 so for us to remain with a we shall divide both sides by by 2 so here also by 2 this side by 2 so that 2 by 2 shall cancel so now our a in this case a is equals to 1 plus the log of 16 to the base of 3 all over all over 2 so when we split the all of this equation so now our a shall be finally is equals to so 1 over 2 so now we shall have a half then plus this one shall have a half also so a half the log of 16 to the base of to the base of 3 so now we shall now conclude that this is our value for our value for a so if you have any doubt you can still confirm it within the shortest time possible so let's now confirm this answer so let's now go to get back to our equation that we had so we had 3a multiplied by 3a is equals to 48 so 3 to the power of a then multiply by 3 to the power of a is equals to 48 so let's now pick our value that we had so our value for a in this case we have got it as as a, a half plus a half so a half plus a half then we had the log of 16 the log of 16 to the base of to the base of 3 so let's now use these figures so that we work it out very fast so here 3 to the power of a so meaning that now we shall have this 3 to the power of a multiplied by 3 to the power of a we end up we ended up with 3 to the power of 2a is equals to 48 so let's now have the a the a is all that is written here so here now we shall now have 3 to the power of 2 into brackets let's now have this a half plus a half the log of 16 to the base of to the base of 3 should give us 40 48 because that is now what we need in this case so here now we shall have 3 so that we can now split it or split in this in, in this case so 3 to the power of 2 so into bracket a half then our plus shall now change to multiplication so we shall still have 3 to the power of 2 here then to the power of a half the log of 16 to the base of 3 is equals to 48 so now we, uh, we've worked we've split it in a way that working it out becomes so easy so here now 2 by 2 shall cancel so here now we shall remain with 3 so now we shall have 3 multiplied by so let's now come to this other side so we have 2 by 2 shall cancel the log to the base of 3 shall cancel this 3 so now we shall end up with 16 so 3 multiplied by 16 equivalent to 48 so what is 16 multiplied by 3 it is 48 is equals to 48 so it means that our maths problem is correct when we conclude by saying that the value for a in this maths problem is equals to a half then also plus a half the log of the log of 16 to the base of 3 so if you really loved how we worked it out this maths problem please don't forget to give us a like and also subscribe to this channel thank you